luxury air travel within Europe is pretty non-existent. Unlike Asia and the US, Euro business class is a block middle seat and a sandwich. Today, I'm gonna find the most luxurious flight in Europe. Saying that, we need to go to another country in order to catch this flight. What's quite cool about today is I'm meeting up with some friends. We're gonna be enjoying the British Airways first class lounge. security and now let's go and find these boys whereabouts are they oh i see hey. boys what is going on we've got andy here we can fly triple seven we can fly go check seven. his channel out guys <laughs> in the bottom and then we got lens fly like lens cheers mate cheers so what we're going to do in a minute is the coveted slammer time Time. Oh, and by the way, this guy, this geezer, geezer, Ross has got something called a gold guest list card, which I don't have, which means that he can go in this lounge. Basically, you get bottomless LPGS and a la carte dining. Of course, I'm not allowed in there, mainly because I'm just a hooligan. But anyway, cheers, guys. <laughs> yes, pre poured because the guys, you know, they look after me. It's you and me. Last to join is our friend Jarvis, the plug for anything luxury travel. Duty free purchase. Let's get on the flight to Amsterdam. Boarding is done in groups with Club Europe boarding last. I actually prefer this as I've never been one to rush on board first. This also meant we pushed back within just a few minutes of sitting down. We were airborne after a short taxi. The flight today is a super quick one with Amsterdam being less than 45 minutes flight time from the UK. Well guys, it is a welcome to Amsterdam. Let's just say it was a fun night. What happens in Amsterdam stays in Amsterdam. If you watched one of my previous videos, you may remember the situation where I went over to the hotel that was closed in Amsterdam. What we're doing today is hopefully it is open. Fingers crossed, because I managed to book it again. And then tomorrow morning, up nice and early, because we are going to be going on Europe's most luxurious flight. Cool is this? Guys, like, isn't this the coolest? I have just booked tickets to go up on the swing at the top. It's called Sir Adam's Lookout. Uh, hang on, stop everything. What the hell is going on in my life at times? 2020 has certainly been a strange year. The main premise coming up here though is to go on these swings thanks very much that was epic absolutely love that guys I was massively impressed with that hotel I'm sure you can get now we have to get this ferry over to the central station and in typical fashion my fashion which of course is awful I'm late it's the only time in Holland at the minute where you need to wear a mask is where you go on public transport hence why I need to get a mask on So, where are we off to today? That is a good question. Well, I can tell you the airline. We're flying on Turkish International Airlines on their brand new business class. But which plane is it? Let's go over and find out. It's also worth noting that Amsterdam Airport offers a priority channel for anyone traveling in business class. So tell you what was really weird just then is going through security is I didn't need to take anything out of my bag. No liquids, no computer, like what? What is the deal with that? <laughs> so I wasn't gonna do this, but 
I saw a Mackey's open and the lounge offers particularly average food. Can you really beat a Mackey's breakfast when you're traveling? Most flights in Europe will take this smaller sort of style plane, right? But we are flying on this one, the Dreamliner. Because usually it's something that'll only be operated on like a much longer haul route, not in like a three and a half hour flight. So Turkish apparently have a rule where they will not let you use the overhead bins. So instead, my wheelie suitcase had to uh, be transferred into this. And then the rest of the stuff is gone into the hold. Okay. Oh, Thank you very much. Here we are on board. Here is my seat, 2A. Now, as I said, I cannot, oh, I cannot put anything in the overhead bins. So this, this has to go underneath the seat apparently. I have to say, first impressions, very good indeed. This is very nice. We push back and made our way to the runway. Goodness, the taxi at Amsterdam literally took almost as long as the flight here from London. <laughs> Can we appreciate how epic the view is out of the Dreamliner windows? By the way, these are the largest in commercial aviation. After takeoff, I popped to the bathroom. This time, I actually didn't manage to spray cologne in my eye. <laughs> Welcome on board today's most luxurious flight in Europe. What do you think? What's so cool about today is this is Turkish Airlines' brand new business class. It's something that they needed to introduce for a while, to be honest, because their old one was distinctly lacking, but this is absolutely wonderful. Um, every seat on the flight has direct aisle access. You've got interesting couple seats in the middle, so you've got ones that are either close together or further apart. If you, say, for example, are sitting next to a stranger, you don't want to be super close. It doesn't have, obviously, double beds like uh, Qatar, but all of the seats do lie completely flat. Um, so a couple of challenges about today's flight. So you cannot do it. It's not special permission for the company. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not allowed, I'm sorry. That they're not happy with me filming at all, which is uh, a shame because a lot of things have been very good about this flight. The service in terms of the cabin crew have been wonderful, genuine, really polite, really good. But the issue, of course, is the filming, which they absolutely do not like. I have got one thing. Uh, this is the meal that they provide today. Um, which is basically just packaged, pre-packaged stuff and it's a shame because Turkish is known for providing the most incredible in-flight food. It's the same case in a lot of airlines at the minute with the exception of Qatar, which you may have seen my video already on my channel uh, and if not, do check it out afterwards, link is below. There isn't any champagne today, largely soft drinks, there was some wine and some beer available but I went <laughs> for living the dream with the water. Did I mention there's a bed? fully flat of which I found pretty comfy. I had a small nap, the only issue was the footwell, which is a cubby so it's quite restricted for your feet. Now for procedures. Entering Turkey at present you need to complete a health declaration. It's just detailing your previous trips and where you'll stay in Turkey. Before I knew it, it's time for landing. Approach was a little bumpy, but the views were spectacular. I even managed to get a little bit of sneaky footage of the cabin when we were exiting the plane. Right, welcome to Istanbul. Let's go through passport control, sort all this out and get over to the city because we've got another surprise coming up. Welcome to Istanbul. Goodness me, another long day of travel. Let me take this off, oh, and uh, welcome to my room. So this is the Hilton Bosmotti, I think it's called. You know how these work by now. Here's my stay in Istanbul in 30 seconds. I grabbed an Uber over to the Blue Mosque. Next, the Grand Bazaar. I didn't buy anything, but to wander around and soak up the atmosphere was incredible. Food, of course. I grabbed a delicious lamb kebab and then went on the hunt for baklava. This is incredible. Probably shouldn't be eating it whilst walking along, but oh my goodness. After weaving around the streets of the old town, I crossed the river, but whilst on the bridge, I can clearly see the divide between Europe and Asia. Neat, right? Well, there we go. 
With that, I grabbed an Uber and headed straight back to the airport. Yes, it's time to fly again. Right, guys, that was another mess. Welcome to the hotel. Welcome back to the hotel, if you saw seen one of my previous vlogs, where I stayed here actually just last week. But we have a bit of a problem. Now, let me take that off. Oh, because I've had quite a complicated itinerary over the past few, last few weeks, it's kind of just normal for me. It was positive I booked tonight's hotel. Obviously I haven't. So I had to quickly book it in the lobby. But um, I did manage to get a good rate, so all is good. I've actually got a room upgrade. I was supposed to have a much like smaller cabin, and this is like a proper big room, so fair dues. and early today we are going back over to London we're not going on anyway we're going back on Turkish again but this time I thought I'd give a bit of a special treat to you guys <laughs> let me show you when we get to the gate that was a uh... <laughs> I pushed that a bit fine if I'm honest to reveal what exactly are we flying today we are flying the 777 and today for you guys I'm going in economy because I wanted to see what it was like in comparison to their revised business offer. I told you guys we were in for a treat. Turkish economy. How does it stack up? Well firstly I'm surprised just how busy this flight is. Middle seats are not blocked like they seem to show on their website. I don't think this is a bad thing though as it's positive news for the travel industry. Some may find this a little concerning though, due to no social distancing. After a short taxi, we were ready to take off. Take off from Istanbul's new airport is awesome as you get a great view over the Black Sea. Okay, so what food can we expect? There's no buy on board, it's complimentary, which is a good start. Presented gracefully in a brown paper bag, <laughs> cheese sandwich, bottle of still water, a peach juice and some chocolate cake. For economy, this is not bad at all, even at the best of times. What's funny is this is not too indifferent to what I got on business class. All in all, you have to hand it to Turkish, providing a solid economy product within Europe. So welcome back to the UK. I think it demonstrates a good uh, comparison between the more premium product that we flew on, on the Dreamliner, obviously on the business class, which I would argue is one of the best most luxurious products within Europe to fly as a hard product. That aside though, of course, the food disparity, well, there wasn't very much at all. You got very similar in economy to business. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do give this video a good thumbs up if you enjoyed it and smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys again very soon. Cheers.